Greetings, kings and queens of the islands of America! Oh, not the king and queen, huh? how embarrassing. <clears throat> Greetings, presidents of the new world! Not the presidents? Then what are we doing here? Kids? Kids? Do you know who I am? I don't talk to kids. I'm a very important person. I have many feathers in my headdress. Look at this feather. This came from the queen of Kathmandu. And this feather came from the czar of Chimichanga. Why in the world would I be talking to kids? Oh, oh. <clears throat> In that case, a, a direct order from the king. Well, then I would be happy to talk to you lovely children out there. It's so nice to see you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the story. I can take it from here, boys. Scram. My friends, you are about to hear a story so fascinating, you will have to fascinate your seatbelt. A story so epic, it has become an epidemic. My friends, tonight you hear the story of the island of the Shoops. Long ago, the great sailor king poured out the waters into existence. He breathed the wind into the air. And from a great jar of sand, he created the magical island of the Shoops. Now, in case you are wondering, that's Shoomp. S-C-H-O-O-M-P, Shoomp. A Shoomp is a kind of insane, daredeviling, crazy, dirty island baby thing. But the king loved them very much, and he left them in charge of his great and magical island. All they had to do was follow the king's instructions and take care of the island while he was away. One day, when the king had to leave on a long journey, he left the Shoomps in charge of the entire island. He even gave them a law to help them remember how to live. But do you think they remember the law? No! In fact, they forgot the king himself. They became wild, dirty little island Shoomps with no pride and no dignity. And they might have forgotten the king forever, except one day when a stranger arrived on the island and everything changed. This is their story. This is the island of the Shumus. <laughs> <laughs>